Folks, this is Women Wrestlers You Should Know and Commemorate Them of Women's History Month 2023. This is being brought to you commercial free by Premier Pro Wrestling. I am Randy Ritchie, and at my side is one Casey James. And today we are going to honor one of the most well known female performers in the wrestling industry of our time, Sonny. Yes, that is correct, old wise one. I love that. I'm going to step yes. aside here and let old Casey wax poetic about Miss Sonny, and I will dive in from time to time. Casey? That is correct, yes, sir. Why did you want to commemorate Sonny? I don't know. I just, uh, man, she was so wildly over in the oh. late 90s when I, I was, like, in high school. Yeah. Um, really, man, I think she was the first diva in WWE, yes. and the first real diva, mm-hmm. man, just beautiful, and I mean, really a hell of a worker. I really liked her work mm-hmm. as a manager. Mm-hmm. She got her first real break in Smoky Mountain mm-hmm. for Jim Cornette. Um, she managed Chris Candido, her real life boyfriend. Yeah, um, got her first break there, and then uh, after that, I believe she got her break in the WWE out of Smoky Mountain because yeah, Smoky Mountain at the time had affiliation of WWE. Cornette was being used mm-hmm. up there. They would exchange talent, mm-hmm. heavenly bodies, um, you know, so on and so forth. Yep. But um, man, Sunny, Stormy, yeah, too fake, yeah, Stormy, too bad. That was supposed to have longer legs than it yep. did. Yeah, but for those of you that don't know, YouTube search Sunny. Heavenly Bodies and Stormy. They had this great big guy dressed in drag, and it was so upsetting, <laughs> you know, yeah. because the, the makeup and wardrobe girl spent a lot of time caking it on, and it was just a very upsetting sight. But she was supposed to come out and combat and Sunny. Like, and like I talk, we talked about uh, a couple weeks ago about Miss Elizabeth, um, had you not grown up during that time period or were a fan in the 80s, you never really... You'll never know how over Elizabeth was. Yeah. I would say the same thing with Sonny. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Sonny was really just, man, because like I said, she was really the first super hot girl. And the way they marketed her was perfect. Was perfect. But man, yeah. I loved her as a heel. I, I really true. did too, because man, she could be, she's a bitch. You know, she could be a <laughs> she could bitch. Act like it, exactly. A bitch. Mm-hmm. Man, so good, so natural. That's why Cornette loved her, yep. because she was really, you know, that's what he always said. Man, she was a real bitch. He yep. didn't like her being used any other way. Mm-hmm. He got he got why they used her and marketed her a certain way in WWE. But, man, you want to talk about just getting heel heat? She could be a real bitch. So she got her first break in Smoky Mountain, and then after that to WWE, she was the manager of Tom Pritchard and Chris Candido, the Body Donnas. That was their first gimmick. Yep. And then she bounced around. And f- Jimmy Delray, the first Body of Donnas. No, no, he Second? was a heavenly. Heavenly body. Tom, Tom Pritchard was a heavenly body and then became okay. a body Donna. It was okay. Tom. It was Tom. Tom and Chris and Sonny is their manager. Okay. And then after that, she bounced around through a few other teams. Even for a minute, she was the manager of Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors for a second. I vaguely remember yeah. that. Yeah, and also the Godwins. Mm. Well, she was bouncing around between the teams. Whoever won the belt, she would end up managing. So much better so, as a yeah, heel. Yeah. As yeah. a heel, so it, it much was, better. It, that's a real bitch move, right? Yeah. Well, my team lost the belt, so now I'm the manager of the Godwins. That's and the, a the, shoot. And, that's then, and then when the body Donna's went <laughs> back, she'd be back with them. So anyways, and then like I said, I thought she was really over during that time period. She was. Then after that, you know, um, she bounced around a little in ECW. I know Paulie used her. Mm -hmm. But um, I I just, like I said, I really like the character. And she is just a really good uh, presence. Yes. Something about her. She had a quality that was real. Mm -hmm. You know, like you can't put your finger on it, tangible. Mm -hmm. And that's what every worker should strive to uh, reach is that, Ability to connect with the audience, to make them feel like that's an extension of yourself, but you have to relate to the people. Mm-hmm. I don't give a shit what you do in that ring. You have to be able to connect. Yep. However you do that. There's a million ways to do it, but you've got to be able to do that. And I think Sunny was really good at that. Well, and that's the thing. She had that same upper echelon and uh, awesome quality about her, so captivating like Liz. Right. But Liz did different, not have, different. It was a different. Exactly, it never been done before, and right. we can't explain to you. You'd have to be in a live arena setting to see how over Sunny was. They hated her, but everybody wanted to be with her right. at the same time. Mm-hmm. So it was a hell of a conundrum, and WWE just learned how to really capitalize off that 
times 10. Mm -hmm. Now, my dealings with Sonny, you know, I heard about Sonny when I was still in Memphis. Uh, oh, you know, right. I was wrestling in Memphis, and one of the second or third tours down there, Sweet Daddy Falcone came down from the East Coast, from yeah, Pennsylvania. Yeah, from Jersey, that's where they're from. Shape exactly. So everybody from that area was uh, somehow one way or shape or form related to Dennis Coraluzzo. Right. So I know that Chris was trying to get in at that point, but Chris was still pretty small and green, but they wanted his girlfriend down there as a manager, Sonny, because the captivation we're talking about before she even really knew what she was doing on a microphone, yeah. you yeah. know? Uh, she could do it all, man. You ever see her in guest commentary? Oh, I know. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know? Unbelievable. Now, so that being said, that's the first I'd heard of her was when I was in the Memphis territory and fast forward three to five years or within that three to five years uh, when I was placed in charge of booking uh, extra talent or non-contract talent or jobbers for, uh, you know, Vince's taping and all that stuff. Well, I got a call one time when I started to no-show sometimes. They're like, you're coming, right? You're coming, right? I'm like, why is it so important to make this one? Well, because we just went live, and you've got all that experience working live TV in Memphis, so I get it. So I can't remember who it was. It might have been me and Roma against uh, the body, the heavenly bodies. The body Donna's. That was Candido and Pritchard. Yeah, that was the body donnas. Yeah, and they were managed by Sonny. Mm -hmm. I was like, son of a bitch, she's more beautiful in person. But I'm a married guy, and I, you know, I don't crap or eat number one. Number two, I have daughters, so I'm respectful. I was actually pretty respectful for women around the business anyway. Oh, so you're saying you could have got Sonny? Not in, way, any way, not in the least. What I'm saying is I didn't want her to think I was thinking mm, like that. That's smart. So I, I handled my business, and again, like I said, don't crap where you eat. Not like I stood a chance, but I'm saying as far as like how you doing. She would have or, succumbed to that charm, I don't know. Or, or caught, got caught looking down her shirt or top or some shit. I didn't do that. Uh. But bless her heart, I had just had a hernia fix, and I had just a little bit of a scar left. And she goes, oh, my God, what happened? Out of the blue. Yeah. In Gorilla, while they're yelling at us, it's like, you be careful out there. My brother just had an umbilical hernia. Oh, I should talk to them before you go out to me. No, we got it. We got it, though. Are you sure? You know what I mean? I thought, she didn't have to act like that. Right, right. You know what I mean? That told me what kind of person she was. Yeah. And then it was, you know, always say hello in the hallway because I worked with them. And that was uh, the time where Stormy came out and that thing didn't have any legs. But anyway, I thought an extremely nice girl that didn't have to be that fucking thoughtful. You know? Yeah. You've seen chicks up there, and we don't have to say names, where they're over and all of a sudden they're the queen bee and they act like uh, a little bitch. Right, right. They treat everybody like shit. The other girls they're intimidated by, and the guys, uh, you know, oh, in your dreams. She wasn't that kind of person. Right. She was down to earth, you yeah. know? Yeah. The thing that upsets me the most about her is, let's say, Jeff Hardy gets another DUI in the internet wrestling community is, oh, he's sick, let's pray for him that he's going to be okay, he'll make it back. But when Sonny gets in trouble because of alcoholism or drug addiction, which is a disease, you squash heads, everybody yeah. wants to make fun and jump on that train. That drives me batshit, because I don't know who gains out of that. Right. But at the end of the day, Sonny will always have that legacy as being one of the most over- Female performers, you know, yep. in the industry, yeah, in the history of our industry. Take the time out, folks, just on a closing note, to mm -hmm. look up her stuff. Mm -hmm. Watch her stuff in the late 90s, 96, 97. If you can find some Smoky Mountain stuff, I hi highly recommend watching it. So And WWF slash right. E That's stuff, you know? Uh -huh. Especially all you guys working, but female performers or wrestlers, you should see how she worked the mic. You should see how she came out. She had heat. You know, before she even, when she just poked her beautiful face through the curtain. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And her arrogance was just unbelievable. She'd something that had never been done before. She should be remembered for that shit and not uh, battling this disease like so many of us do. Because eventually, man, it's got to go one of three ways. Sonny's either going to recover. Sonny may end up in prison or crazy. Or she could end up dead. And then we'll see how effing funny it is then. You know, so while we're showing Jeff Hardy and the like that 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 kind of grace, we should show the same for Sonny. I don't understand it. Right. But anyway, woman wrestlers, you should know. Again, please like, subscribe, and see in the description links how to support Premier Pro Wrestling.